well, uh, Peter already said I'm Ralph. I'm Ralph Des. Um, um, I'm a designer. I graduated uh, this year on the Utrecht School for the Arts, in Utrecht, of course. Um, uh, I did my thesis on uh, designing applications for this type uh, of tables. Um, uh, Harry already told a lot about the technical side of things. I'm not really technical. I'm rather, uh, in, uh, I'm an interaction designer, so I'm really interested in how the this can work for children, how this can work for elderly people. Um, I'm really interested in um, the directness of the system. The system can have like a really direct input. Uh, you can um, have like a, a, what Jeff Hans said, a sort of no manual input. You don't need, you can make something look like, um, uh, let's say a piece of paper and let it behave exactly like the piece of paper would in the real, real world and nobody would question uh, what the exact input parameters would be. Uh, so you can have like really uh, natural um, uh, transparent interfaces with it. Um, this is for example what the, uh, what the camera uh, uh, under the table sees. It uh, sees my hand. The darkest spots on the surface are the touches of my uh, hand touching the surface because that's the way, that's the only point where there is no direct light, there's no light from underneath. There's, uh, in a room, most, most of the time, there's more light on the ceiling than there is on the floor, mm -hmm. which is quite natural. And that's, that's why the, the bottom side of my hands are darker than the upper side. And because the, uh, this layer is diffusive, I uh, can really distinct my, the points of my fingertips from the hand that's above. And, and because the, uh, the light is um, also diffusive, in the, uh, there's no direct light on the table. Otherwise, I would have a really black shadow, and black shadows are also really bad. <laughs> Just in general, they are evil. So, um, and here I have a little, little problem, and you might see this. This is the hot spot from the camera. Uh, the camera, uh, they're not a the camera, I say it wrong, it's the projector, of course. The projector is uh, projecting into a mirror and then bouncing off to into the, onto this acrylic. And this acrylic bounces back, uh, the, imi the image from the projector back onto the mirror, onto the projector, and it just goes like this, resulting in a white spot. Um, we can um, like get a background capture from this image and then capture everything out to make a static image like this. And now I have everything out except what's, uh, what's not yeah, static which is my hand. That's why I, how I get my image. So I've explained it a little bit how it works. And you have this different, uh, all these different techniques, but they all result in really in uh, white dots on this final screen. So it doesn't really matter if you have after, or if you have the diffused the front illumination or diffused rear illumination, they all end up in white dots on that screen, if they work. If they do do work. And, but, it's all technique here, but it's a little bit to give some insight into the progress of calibrating this one. You, um, this also comes with a calibration uh, sort of program to which you can run to really get the points lined up between the camera and the program. Um, let me show the... I'm gonna switch some uh, things on for the um, the, um, the connection between Flash and uh, I write my, most of my programs in Flash because they, you can really easily, quickly develop a program into f in Flash and you can uh, pro uh, develop a uh, program into C, for example. And um, I'm not really a C programmer. I'm not a programmer at all. So uh, I used uh, I use Flash for my uh, prototypes. Um, uh, that one, and we need. Um, but basically, the, the idea behind the application was that um, uh, tables have a, um, uh, a table like this uh, has a strong cultural meaning. Um, uh, we use tables every day, and um, not uh, it's not really natural to point at them and to do things with them. Uh, with the surface, we just put things on them, and they they are there for storage or or anything else, but 
I wanted to create a, so, uh, um, to have a discussion on a, on a, on a, uh, on, a on this tabletop in which the tabletop would um, sort of guide the discussion. I would put this RSS feeds in here to sort of guide the, uh, the, the, the discussion around the table. Um, I'm really uh, interested in uh, making applications that, um, that, if you can see, that, um, that try to, I have a lot of background now, that, that really um, get into a sort of normal cultural um, sort of, um, how do you call that, uh, ritual, really, like uh, sitting around the table, eating dinner, things like that, and um, add another layer with this technology and try to inter uh, to get virtual things in there to sort of deep deepen things out, to enhance uh, sort of things. So that's, that's my first, uh, first application. 